Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we will start chapter 12, lesson 12.1 Measurement Benchmarks Okay, first, what is benchmark? Okay, so if you know the size of something, you can use it to find the size of other something For example, when you say that the disk's length is about six pencils it means that you used the pencil as a benchmark to measure the disk and our essential question is how can you use benchmarks to understand the relative sizes of measurement units so let's unlock the problem Jack says the length of his bike is about four yards use the benchmark units below to determine if Jack's statement is reasonable okay so first let's see the customary units of length the different units to measure the length first we have the inch and one inch is about the first nickel of your finger and one foot is about the length of license plate and it's about the length of your ruler the big ruler the 30 centimeter ruler and then we have one yard and the yard it's about the length of baseball bat or it's about three of the license plates or about one meter so one yard is about one meter and if you walk for 20 minutes it means you walk about one mile and again we have the one inch which is about the first nickel of your finger and then we have one foot it's about the length of your ruler the big ruler and then we have one yard which is about three of these rulers and then we have one mile and it's about you walk for 20 minutes here Jack says that the length of his bike is about four yards here in the picture we see that the bicycle is greater than one baseball bat it's more than one yard but not four yards four yards will be too much so is Jack's statement is reasonable we we'll would say no so Jack's statement is not reasonable so Jack's bike is about how many baseball bats so this is one baseball bat or one yard so it's more than it maybe we say one and a half it's it, will, it won't be more than one and a half so it's like one and a half baseball bats long or one and a half yards so we have the inch which is about the first nickel of your finger then the foot it's about the length of your ruler and three rulers makes this one yard or one meter it's about one meter and if you walk for about 20 minutes it will be like one mile these are the units of length then we have the customer units of liquid volume and the first thing here in liquid volume we have the cup and one cup is eight fluid ounces so one cup is like the cup at your house like the cup of tea so one cup is eight fluid ounces so ounces are the smallest thing here so eight of them make one cup and then we have the pint and the pint is about two cups two of these pints makes one quart and the quart is about the liter it's about the liter that you buy from the supermarket like the liter of juice or the liter of milk it's about one quart and two quarts make one half gallon and then two halves sure makes one gallon or four quarts makes one gallon so again we have the cup which is eight fluid ounces 
then we have the pint which is two cups then the quart which is two pints then the half gallon which is two quarts and the one gallon which is four quarts so here a question about how much liquid is in a mug of hot chocolate okay sure it is not in gallon or half gallon or quart quart is one liter uh, one pint is about half liter uh, it's more than the large Pepsi can I'll go with cup so it's about one cup and here we have the customary units of weight so here we have one ounce and one ounce is about the weight of several pencils pencils are really light so several pencils this is about one ounce and a loaf of bread this is about one pound one pound is about half of kilogram and then the heavy things like a car this is about one ton here is a question about how much does a grapefruit weigh so a grapefruit weigh if it's in ounces this is too light and if it's in tons this is too heavy so I'll go with one pound one pound is about half kilogram and then we have benchmarks for metric units like place value the metric system is based on multiples of 10 each unit is 10 times as large as the next smaller unit blue are some common metric benchmarks so here we have one millimeter and one millimeter is really small it's like the tip of your pen or your pencil and we have one centimeter and one centimeter is across your finger is one centimeter and across your hand from your thumb to your binky this is one decimeter and then across the door this is about one meter so across the door this is about one meter and if you walk for about 10 minutes this is about one kilometer so if you walk for 20 minutes if you remember this was about one mile here 10 minutes is about one kilometer so one kilometer is about half of a mile so again millimeter it's like the tip of your pencil one centimeter it's like across your finger one decimeter it's like across your hand and one meter it's like across the door and one kilometer it's like you walk for 10 minutes so here he asks is the length of your classroom greater than or less than one kilometer so the length of your classroom would it take from you 10 minutes to walk i hope not so it's less than one kilometer sure less than okay then we have metric units for liquid volume so we have milliliter and we have liter so milliliter like few drops so it's really small few drops and one liter is actually 1000 milliliter so the one liter of milk it's like 1000 milliliters so he asks here about how much medicine is usually a medicine bottle about 120 milliliter or liter you can see that the bottle of milk is in one liter and it's really bigger than the bottle of medicine so it's about 120 milliliter and now metric units of mass uh, so not to get confused between mass and weight uh, for example if we are on earth the mass and the weight both are the same uh, but if you went for example to the moon your weight will be lighter because the gravity is less than the gravity on earth so your weight on the moon will be lighter 
but the mass on earth or moon is the same so if we are on earth mass and weight are the same so here the one dollar is about one gram one gram is really light and the baseball bat is about one kilogram and one kilogram is actually 1000 grams so you can imagine how is one gram about how much is the mass of a paper clip a paper clip it's very light it is not heavy like the baseball bat so it's light like the one dollar so maybe it's about one gram And now for share and show. Use benchmarks to choose the metric unit you would use to measure each. Mass of strawberry. Okay, so strawberry is very light. So we have grams and kilograms. Kilograms, we said that one kilogram is like one baseball bat. So strawberry is really smaller than this. So it's in grams length of cell phone so for cell phone we have here centimeter meter and kilometer so centimeters it's okay meter it's really long and kilometer it's really really long you have to walk 10 minutes to get kilometers so centimeters is fine then uh, circle the better estimate width of teacher's desk the teacher's desk it can be 10 meters or 1 meter 10 meters it's too big so 1 meter is fine here the amount of liquid a bunch of bowel holes so a bunch of bowel holes 2 liters or 20 liters 20 liters will be too much it can hold 2 liters distance between Seattle and San Francisco okay so we said that one mile is you walk for 20 minutes so 6 miles means you walk for 120 minutes which is 2 hours so you can't walk 2 hours from Seattle to San Francisco so it's really farther than this so it's 680 miles okay hope you guys understand the lesson and now it's your turn you solve on your own questions and on the live session we will discuss together your answers have a nice day goodbye